I show you now the application of the aqua masking fluid pen in combination with the Horadam watercolor paintings of Schminke. I will paint a piece of wood in watercolors and the first step is to paint the form in ochre. In the next step, I use the pen to draw the lines, the grain of the wood. The very fine dispensing unit of the pen is ideal for clean, exact application of finest details, so you can paint very naturalistic. Don't press too hard on the pen, so that you don't cover too big parts and too much of the painting. When you finish this step, the masking fluid has to dry. After drying of the masking film, we overpaint with the Horadam watercolor. For overpainting, I use brown tones like sienna, burnt sienna, burnt amber, or darker tones like ivory black or I combine the brown tones with blue, cobalt or ultramarine blue. The masking fluid is available in blue or transparent and the using depends on the color of your underpainting. You find Horadam watercolors in pans and in tubes and you can use the tubes to fill up the pans again. I use a fine brush now to paint the fine parts and fine lines, always thinking of the masking parts who will be very bright in the end. Before you remove the masking fluid, the watercolor has to be completely dry. After the drying of the watercolor, you can rub off the masking fluid very easily with finger or eraser. But attention, do not leave masking fluid longer than two days on the paper. After removing the masking fluid, you can overpaint the lightened parts with shadows or things like this. Before I paint the shadows, I have to let the watercolor dry. To paint the shadow, you have to wet the paper before. Mix burnt umber and ultramarine blue paint the shadow. Because of the wetness of the paper, you can paint a very soft shadow.
Liquid frisket is a transparent masking fluid. You should shake it before you applicate it. You will find liquid frisket in 20 milliliter, 100 milliliter and 250 milliliter gels as well.